Imagine, if you will, walking across a wooden bridge that suddenly catches fire and breaks the wood that you are standing on. Luckily, there is a lake under the bridge, but as soon as you touch the water, you instantly die, because you're a fire cat monster thing. Hi, I'm Santi Globius, and what I just described is the game concept for a Flash game for the show Adventure Time on Cartoon Network, about a character that really doesn't show up that often in the show and is kind of a background character. That's right, I'm talking about Flambo's Hot Mess. The game is pretty much as I described. You play as Flambo, and you have to get to the end of the level. If you touch water at the bottom, then you die. You have to walk across the wooden platforms that fall into the water when activated by you walking on them. The game also has other stuff too, like simple Goomba-like enemies that are easy to dodge as Goombas. The game also has a few other mechanics that aren't really that fun, but that's the basic concept of Flambo's Hot Mess. So I thought I would review this game, because I played it a long time ago, and some of the game still holds up and also as a Rest in Peace Adventure Time tribute episode. So let's get right into it. The game concept is really fun for falling platforms, because of the thought of how you have to change the way you move compared to other platformers in order to not fall in the water. It's so fun when games do that, they take a simple mechanic and add something crazy to it to change the whole way you play the game. You can see that in a lot of popular games like Undertale or Super Meat Boy. Flambo's Hot Mess could have been one of those great games. If it wasn't a Flash game and it didn't have the Adventure Time license. One of the best things in Flambo's Hot Mess is its killer soundtrack, better than a lot of other games with way bigger budgets. You know, it starts off with some simple guitar chords, and then it hits you with the... It's perfectly goofy, like the game and Adventure Time. There is some stuff in Flambo's Hot Mess that holds it back, though. I know a game like this doesn't have a budget of a AAA game, but still, there are some things that they could have put more time into and made the game a lot better. Such as the animations. Santi, are you really complaining about a Flash game's animations? Yes. Yes, I am. Flambo's animations are fine, however, they do feel very stiff at times, and even when you do die from falling in the water, you feel like you're playing a paper cutout as a character. If they just added a few more frames, they could have made Flambo so much more lifelike. Another thing, the controls feel very stiff at times, which makes me feel like I'm playing more of a paper cutout. Sometimes when you get to a ledge jump, you think you can totally make it, but nope, and you just fall. When you just tap a little left or right, Flambo jolts forward and then stops really fast when you stop going forward, making the game feel very stiff, which is sad because when I think of how a flame monster would walk, I would think that he would slide around and not be a rock monster stiff with his controls. The level design is what really holds the game back. The levels are too easy. Of course, it's made for kids and it's meant to be easy, but a good game makes it for all audiences of all skill levels. The levels are either simple walk acrosses or have many safety platforms before you fall in the water. It's a shame because the thing I was talking about before is that I love games that change the way you play the genre. And for Flambo's Hot Mess, it was the falling platforms. And if you stay still, you fall in the water and die. And that's what makes it fun. However, when you make the game mechanic so easy with its levels, it's almost non-existent, then you lose that game mechanic, making the game feel like any other platformer. In conclusion, this game is pretty fun anyways, and if you just want a game to listen to some goofy music while platforming, then Flambo's Hot Mess is a good option. I wish they expanded upon the game mechanic of falling in the water because you break up the platform with your fire, but I don't know. For a Flash game, it's pretty good. For the animation, some people might not notice them, but I sure did. I'm fine with a game having bad animations if it's in tune with the game or a character's personality, and I just didn't see that in Flambo. A game should always have good controls, no matter what you're playing. It really depends on what game you're playing, which considers it good controls for that game. For something like Octodad, it's supposed to have bad controls. You're controlling an octopus with a control that has like four buttons. But for something like Flambo's Hot Mess, I don't consider it good controls. I'm fine with an easy game, but if it takes away from the primary game mechanic, that's when I start having issues with the game. And that's what happened with the level design. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. I really like these review videos. Also, welcome to my channel where I post every four months. And don't forget, I hate flame monsters, I hate poor controls, and I hate you. Good night, I'm Santi Globius.